I'm coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Christ even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us.
those creators. They can see they're somewhere near the house. They can see they're what else did they tell you? Take a oh, seat! No. Don't be sneaking the south. What did I miss? Did they tell you about the You night? should have seen them dance. Of course Don't you did. worry. You'll get okay. another chance. What? A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke. Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations, Yay. everyone! Yay. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, rings! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to, you to be, be my, my spouse. spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to hold better, you from this day forward, for, for better or for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 What's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something, please. Don't this crowd her. Good. Give her air. Damn. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yemen town. When they dragged me away, <laughs> that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said How I don't have lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artyom, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. Well, oh, Artyom's getting chewed out today. It's not Artyom's fault. I fell into that stupid bunker all by myself. And if Dad says one word to him about it, I'll tear him a new one. Yes. In any case, Katya will calm the colonel down. You shouldn't worry either, Anna. She'll fix you in no time at all. She's good. No doubt about that. We drew the lucky ticket with her, especially you, Stepan. That's it, Fat. Thank you, Anna. Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. 
A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it My been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh, God. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. Ivana's state worsens. I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So, Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Now I understand why she was so down. Just imagine. 